Known for its lush landscapes, Puerto Rico has an abundance of breathtaking natural resources. In 2017, Hurricane Maria battered the island, the worst natural disaster in Puerto Rico's history, leaving some in the dark for almost a year. When the lights did come back on, some Puerto Ricans in rural communities like Adjuntas took matters into their own hands. It's actually showing that we're producing power right now, even with the clouds. Arturo Masol is leading the solar revolution in Puerto Rico through Casa Pueblo. So Hurricane Maria hits. It is the worst natural disaster to hit Puerto Rico. That said, it gave Casa Pueblo a chance to rethink the energy grid. Because we have been promoting sustainable development, we were ready to confront that natural disaster. We became an energy oasis for the community. Started on Earth Day 42 years ago, his nonprofit installs solar panels on homes and local businesses, partnering with the Hanold Foundation. The goal? Ultimately, creating a small independent power grid. And it's a community effort with more than a dozen businesses like Lucy's Pizza plugging in. Vamos a tener el control. We're no longer having to wait a year for energy to come back. About two hours away, another new development dubbed the Earthship, a structure that looks like it's from a galaxy far, far away. This is what the island of Puerto Rico uh, needs, is more thought behind the construction. And like a ship at sea, the Earthship is a self-sustaining structure designed to withstand natural disasters and thrive off the grid using natural and repurposed materials, renewable energy, and rainwater collection. Wow, this is really <laughs> an amazing structure. We'll give tours and teach them about sustainability and other aspects of the farm. Just weeks ago, when a fire at one of the island's largest power plants caused a major outage, the Earthship wasn't impacted at all. Just a normal day on the farm. The light stayed on down here. I stayed on. These grassroots efforts creating an empowering example of what's possible by combining innovation with determination. This Earth Day, what are you most proud of? That we can take care of our own destiny as we're producing our own power and that an alternative future is possible because we're building that reality right now. And guys, what's interesting here, when you talk to folks on the island, it's a, it's a sea change of thinking uh, because they say they've got to be more sustainable and they can't depend on the power grid here. So they are taking matters into their own hands through a myriad number of ways, wind, solar, and renewable. And it's really amazing to see what's happening here. Necessity mm. continues to be the mother of invention. Yeah, that's inspiring, that. Al. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Al, you're already working on your vacation, you so we're not going to make you do the forecast. Yes. <laughs> but Dilly Dilly's <laughs> holding it down here. I didn't know he could go on vacations and work at the same well, time. Well, because you know what? Al Roker has Only more energy than any yeah. of us. You're the best for doing that for us, Al. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.